We should deport any foreign national who takes to the streets today and supports Hamas. Robert Jemrick, our immigration minister, has floated this idea. We shouldn't mess about. Let's check in, shall we, on how this global day of jihad is going so far. So there's been some footage of protests earlier in Jordan. Speeches, chanting, flags waving everywhere. There was guns in the crowd, military men. Uh, there were scenes like this as well in Yemen, in Iran, in Iraq, in Malaysia, in Bangladesh. In France today, a teacher was stabbed to death by a man reportedly shouting about Allah. In China, an Israeli diplomat was also reportedly stabbed as well. There are demonstrations set to take place in Italy and also in Washington in the States. We've seen some incredibly distressing scenes from Washington already with uh, Jewish university students breaking down after there was a pro-Hamas rally on campus. We'll play you a clip of that at some point. Uh, GB News presenter Josh Howey dropped his kids off at school today. He said that dropping children off at a Jewish primary school shouldn't feel like a brave act. But of course, several other Jewish primary schools have closed today. We've been discussing scenes as well, which we've seen, of people tearing down missing posters of Jewish children. Our own state broadcaster refuses to call terrorists terrorists. Members of the Jewish community saying they just don't feel safe on our streets. What happened? What on earth happened here? Now, if you listen very closely, I think you can hear the world bubbling today, just simmering away. I, for one, am not willing to stand by and let this country tear itself apart. I, for one, am not willing to stand by and see a, a Jewish community that does not really have a safe space anywhere in the world, clearly, come under attack from a, a global gabble of ghouls. The way I look at it is this. We, we offered Jews safe refuge after the war, didn't we, here in Britain, and we promised them a safe existence. We have to uphold that promise, don't we? And if foreign nationals on British streets decide to support Hamas, a terror group, then surely they've got to go. Our police and our government have to do the right thing and stop being so timid. If tensions boil over tonight or over the weekend, they have to come down like a ton of bricks on the people supporting a terror group, not the people supporting their own right to exist.